dripping with pearls and tangled in lace. I am Sweet 89 Surrender. Okay, first I'm going to apply my Eye Candy Fix Eye Primer from Eye Candy Couture using a foundation brush from Eco Tools. Today is so pretty out. Nice and warm. It's starting to cool off a little bit more, which is great because it was really sticky and humid earlier. Can't wait till we move soon because we really need to get some air conditioning. I've got fans going, got some windows open, and earlier today I felt like I was dying. It was so humid. Ugh. Oh. Two weeks we'll be out of here. Got a lot to get done before then. Thank goodness I held on to all my boxes from our last move. <laughs> Alright, and then next I'm going to be using NYX Eye Jumbo Shadow Pencil in Black Bean, if it will focus. There we go. This is going to serve as a really good base. And make the colors stand out even more and then with that same foundation brush I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit there we go The next, I'm going to be taking a cheap eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to be applying Ice Queen, also from Eye Candy Couture, on the entire lid on top of that base. I love the shadow. I love Ice Queen. It's so, so pretty, the silver. Perfect for smoky eyes and dramatic looks. So, so pretty. But yeah, when I think of the ocean, I think of the silver sheen in it, and not that I've ever seen, been to one, but I've seen photos. And then the dark, amazingly dark blues. So pretty. I've always wanted to see an ocean up close and personal. Not that I'd get in it, especially if there's sharks in that area. I'm terrified of them. I've seen so many horror stories about them. Oh, my word. But I've always wanted to go to the beach just to collect seashells. I don't know. I, have, I just like them. I think they're pretty. They're interesting. They're intricate and delicate. Got a lot of crafty ideas to, to use them, too. Got a whole bunch of them actually I found from various places that I could probably use for something. Okay, next I'm gonna take Maui. And this is also from Eye Candy Couture. And this is like a really pretty blue it green. It almost reminds me of the glittery kind of scales that you would see on fish. And even like maybe even a peacocked kind of sheen to it. Just really, really pretty. And I'm going to take it on the very tip of a crease brush, pile it on the outer corner, and then work it in. And this is basically going to blend out that dark silver. So 
because I want the edges to look a little bit faded. Not so crazy. Soften them a little bit. So this like makes a really nice transitioning color when it comes to darker tones. I do believe. All right. And then using that uh, cheap eyeshadow brush, I'm just gonna run some shadow on the lower lash line. I might put a little Maui down there. I think I will brighten the eye a little bit. There we go. Why not? There we go. That's pretty. Alright. Now we move on to highlight. using Happy Thoughts, also from Eye Candy Couture. And this is a really pretty pearly white. I'll swatch it for you. It's got this pearly sheen to it. I just love it. And it makes an amazing highlight. So taking a cheap, fluffy brush. And that would be my computer. <laughs> Work that into my brow bone. My baby doll went to play with uh, my husband last night. Not last night. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, earlier today, so she zonked out. Taking a nap. She, uh, he gave her a workout. <laughs> went walking, visited grandma and aunt. Sure, she came back really happy, so I guess they had a lot of fun. That's good. It's good they got some father daughter bonding time. Alright, All right, next I will be using CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus in Black Onyx. And I'm going to tight line. I love using black eyeliner for my looks. It just seems to frame the eyes and give it a finishing touch. I've actually like to get some white because I've seen how some people put white on the lower lash line and it just brightens it so much. It's so cool. Pick that up someday. Next, I'm going to be using a liquid black liner from the Born Pretty store. And starting in the middle of the lid, working out, and then I'll go back. When you curl your lashes, be careful not to go so far back as to touch the eyeliner. Okay, to finish off my eye, I'm going to be taking Maybelline, the Colossal Volume Express, and apply it. There we go. And now I'm going to 
go work on my other eye, and then I'll come back to finish off my face. At this point, my husband actually came back. Thanks for talking, so I have to use the video. But here I'm using NYX bronzer, and I use my middle ear as a guide where to apply down below on my cheeks. This is Daydream of Clyde. Work in circular motion, a little at a time. apply too much. We want it to look more more natural if anything. Next I'll be using XOXO blush from Eye Candy Couture with a small blush brush and I apply that on top of my cheek working it into that bronzer. Also in circular motion a little at a time. Next, using Eye Candy Couture Peaches and Cream and a brush, I will be applying that to my cheeks as well on the very top of the bone structure and along my jawbone. This makes an amazing highlight. It's got gold and pink reflex in it, very pale, neutral color, perfect for all skin tones. Makeup look anybody um, with any eye color can pull off. Now I'll be taking 24 karat pink and I will be applying that to my lips as well. Also for my Kitty Couture. And this also has amazing gold and pink reflex in it. This look is perfect for spring and summer, especially at night. Thank you all for watching.